Hey guys, I am Wade with the Bod Garage and today we are at the gym. We're at Our Planet Fitness and it is leg day. Allie is gonna be doing leg day today. She's gonna be using some kettlebells. You are welcome to just use your dumbbells, okay? Like we always do leg day, 10 pound dumbbells is all that I'm asking you to use. Allie's gonna go up uh, from that. Uh, she's working, this is her normal weight. So uh, she'll be doing 60 pounds in kettlebells on her squats. And then we're gonna do some one-legged lunges. And you're gonna need to be able to put your, your one of your feet back on your couch or in a chair or something like that, okay? In order to do these one-legged lunges. It's kind of a, uh, uh, an advanced one-leg lunge, okay? But we're getting to that point, all right? And then we're gonna do some kickbacks and then we're gonna do some side kicks, some scissor kicks uh, for the hip area, and then we'll see where we are on time. But uh, for now, Allie's gonna start out with the sumo squats. She's gonna be using kettlebells. You just use your right, normal weights, okay? All right, here we go. All right, gotta hand the phone back and forth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip you around. See, that was a quick flip, quick flip. All right, here we go. Whenever you're ready, babe. All right. I'm ready, I got you straight in the camera action. Look at those arms. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three more. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Set them down. All right. Yeah. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> I don't want to squat with 60 pounds, that's for sure. Look, they're 30 and 30, two 30 pound. Yeah, kettlebells. but I've done this for years, so. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? All right, let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good job. Good job. Water. All right. I was getting some water. Make sure you have water. Make sure you're drinking water. It's very, 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 very important, guys. Your body, your muscles are 70% water. Make sure you're filling them up every single day, okay? Unless you're three days out from competition and then you're gonna absolutely <laughs> get, no <water. laughs> get no water at all. All right, here we go, third set. And let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good job. All right. That's three sets of fifteen sumo squats with your dumbbells. Okay. Can we put these up? I'll, I'll put them up here in just a minute. All right, from here we're gonna we're gonna rest just for a few seconds. Now this is when you're gonna have to use your chair or a couch or something that you can set your foot up on. You, you want to show them yeah. how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put one leg up just like that. Okay. Now, it requires a lot of balance, so we might want to have a chair. Right, it re does require balance, so you might want to have a chair out beside you, or the arm of a couch, or something, and that's how you're going to do it, just like that. Okay, all right, that's the one-legged lunge. These are called death lunges. <laughs> no, they're really not. Now, I don't know if I can do 15, so don't be getting them here 15 to 20. <laughs> Uh, she says she doesn't know if she can do 15 each leg. We're gonna do 10 each leg, 
two to three sets, probably two sets because we're gonna be doing other things also. Uh, I'm gonna give her just another few seconds. Take your time because you gotta have your balance. Right. So if everybody's ready, we're gonna start. Whenever Allie's ready, go. One. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good right. job. That's now switch legs. You go to the other leg. You want a, you want a, a, a far enough step out to where you're getting a really good stretch in that hamstring and in that glute, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, rest. Get that water in. So this is our Planet Fitness. We have the yellow room. We call it the yellow room over there. That's the circuit room. Circuit training. And of course, everything out there is the gym. Not too many people here right now, which is why we wanted to come at this time. Usually it's pretty crowded on uh, Monday and Tuesday around 5 o'clock because that's normally when most people get off work and they get here. So we're trying to hit it before the crowd gets here. Okay. Okay. Second set. One-legged lunges. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change legs. Here we go. And down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. All right. All right. We're gonna. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch it up. Here, hold that. We're switching up. We're gonna do some push-ups. Oh no! <laughs> but you didn't see that coming, did you? No. We're gonna do some push-ups. If you need to do them from your knees. Go ahead and build from your knees. If you can build from your feet, build from your feet. Okay? I'm gonna build from my feet. We're gonna do sets of 10. I'm not sure how many sets we're gonna do, but uh, we're ramping it up a little bit, okay? Remember, I always told you that we have to shock the muscle group, you have to change things up, do things differently, just out of the blue, do something different. Don't Continue to do the same exercises in the same cycle and in the same order, okay? If you're at a gym and you're doing arms and chest, you normally would go in and you probably have a routine. You do this, and then you do that, and then you do that, and then you do that. And every time you go in, that's how you're doing it. I want you to change that. I want you to stop doing it that way. Reverse it. Start with what you normally end up with, okay? And then go up from there. So it'll be totally in reverse. Or pick something in the middle and then pick something here. Make sure you get all the movements in, but, but you wanna shock that muscle group. If you do it the same way every single time, your muscles will get used to it and you will not get the same results, okay? Shocking the muscle, are you ready? Let's go. I mean, let's say we're doing 10. Are you ready? Let's go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now, in case you don't know what muscle group you're working, when you do push-ups, it really depends on where your hands are. Okay, you're either gonna work your chest or you're gonna work the tricep more. If your hands are closer together, if they are closer together, almost right underneath your shoulders, then you're gonna work your tricep, you're working that muscle, okay? If your hands are wider, the wider you go, the more you're using your chest. So it's kind of a multi-usage exercise, okay? All right, here we go. We're working chest right now, so I'm gonna be a little wide with my hands. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, I'll show you something else. If you have your elbow sticking out this way, when you go down, you're working more chest. If you tuck them in a closer, a closer base on your hands. If you tuck them in and go down like this and keep your arms next to your body, you're working your triceps, okay? So on tricep day, add some of those. They're awesome. Do them very last. Do them the very last thing and just exhaust them. Go until you can't do them anymore. Okay, all right. One more set and then we're gonna get back to legs, all right? We're working chest, so I'm gonna go wide and my elbows out, okay? Wide, elbows out like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now, one more thing about push-ups. This is a great, great, great uh, push-up program that I would like to see you try. Start day one, one push-up. Day two, two push-ups. Day three, three push-ups. And continue for a whole month. Start on the first. Do one. By the 30th, you're doing 30. You can do it, I promise. You can do it, I've done it. I've done it up to 100. I started with one, and it took me 100 days, and I was doing 100 push-ups, non-stop. For real. And then you go back and add up all the push-ups that you did that month. Think about it. You did one, and then you did two, and then you did three, and then you did four, all the way up to 50s, 60s, 70s. You add every one of those days up, and it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of push-ups that you did that month. It's a great program, guys. All right. Okay. That's all I got. I'm done. We got more workout. We're at 13 minutes. Want to do another set of these? Yep. Alan's gonna do another set of one-legged lunges. In order to give her a little leg break. Legs are the biggest muscles in the body. So they really take a beating sometimes. You wanna give them a little bit more rest than what you do other parts of your body. She's almost like she's under arrest. She's holding her hands up, the cops have got her. How many is that? Five? Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. And ten. Switch legs. Here we go. Hold on. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Good job. Good job. All right. Now, that's all the lunges we're going to do. Uh, we'll probably add those in on a weekly basis. So just get ready to do those, okay? It helps you with a lot of different muscles. It does help. It helps with the glutes. It helps with the balance. It helps with your hamstring, which is in the back of your leg. It helps with your quad, which is the front of your leg. And it also helps with your calf because you're having to keep balance. And the more swivel, you, you'll notice your feet, your, your foot will have to swivel. She's gonna change the camera. Your foot will swivel in order to keep that balance. Just try to stand on one foot. You feel the, the, the swivel. How your, how your foot's moving, it's keeping balance. You're working your calf. That's your calf muscle that's keeping balance, okay? So you're working a lot of different muscles in that one-legged lunge. You're gonna wanna start with the chair. Sir. Yeah, definitely start. You know, if you've got something like this, if you've got something out here that you can hold on to, I want a really wide step. Okay, that way you get that full stretch all the way in here. Okay, all right. Have something to hold on to, to keep the balance. I would like to see you get away from holding on because it's gonna work your calf muscles more if you're not holding on to anything, okay? But I don't want you falling. So get used to doing them and then try to go like Allie did without holding on to anything. All right, so. We're gonna do some kickbacks. Allie's gonna do some kickbacks. All right, she's gonna do some kickbacks on the mat. And she's gonna start with one leg and these are gonna be just straight out. We'll do 15 with each leg, okay? Actually, I, look at that, look at that tricep on that woman. Look at that. All right, what I really want you to do, babe, is go down on your, on your yep. Now, why do I do this? Why do I want her to do it? Because it's gonna force her to kick more upward instead of straight out. And the more upward you go, the more you're using that glute because you're gonna squeeze it. Now you're gonna notice her foot is gonna go higher than her bottom. See how much higher her foot is rather than just kicking it straight out? And that's because the angle that she's at right now with her arms where they are in that position instead of just on her hands. So do this position and you're gonna get more out of this exercise, I promise. All right, here we go, 15 with each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Change legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, good job. Good job, stretch that out. See how she's stretching her lower back. She's stretching those glutes out. She's stretching the hamstring out. Always stretch for about five seconds. All right, back in position. We're doing another set of 15 each leg. Are you ready? Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job. Switch legs, let's go. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job. Good job. I would tell her to get up, but 
got a lot of clients that hate it when I make you get up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. So I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you hang on. I'm gonna let you stay down there. Something about Catholic mass. I don't know. I don't have anything to do with that. Up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. She's not Catholic. All right. I want to do a two second hold on these. Are you good with that, babe? All right. Ten on each leg. Two second hold. Ready and go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Change legs, let's go. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, and one, and two, and down. Stretch that out, really good. Good job. All right, all right, babe, hop up. All right. I'm gonna do the scissors unless you want to. I can do it. Okay, all right, get you some water. I'm gonna let her get some water. And then we're going to do some side scissors on the mat, okay? Now this is gonna be working your hip, all right? The outside of your hip, okay? Yep, right there. <clears throat> okay, either side, it doesn't matter which side you start on, okay? Side. You want my leg bent? I want it bent. Yep. This one? I want them both bent 45 degrees. What am I doing? Just like that. And you're going to raise that one up. Just like that. Okay? You all right with that? I'm good. Okay, we're going to do 15 each side. Are you ready? Let's yep. go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Change sides. I'll let her get changed. It doesn't take her but about three seconds, and she'll be ready. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and rest, change sides, here we go. She's gonna be ready and ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 chain sides, here we go. She does that little spin kick, little spin around, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, she's speeding up, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good job, good job. Everybody up. Everybody, yeah. Okay. Good job, babe. Thanks. All right. I got a little surprise for you. How much time we got? You gonna ask me to marry you? Yeah, will you? I would marry you in a heartbeat. <laughs> How much time do we have? We have six minutes. Five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes. Sounded like a great time to do some planks. What do you think? We're gonna do a plank it out. <laughs> you wanna do some planks? Here we go. I'll do some planks. We're gonna do one minute hold planks. One minute. <laughs> Allie looked at me like, really? Are you gonna do one minute? 
45 seconds, okay? We're gonna do a 45 second plank. We may do a minute at the end. You can do this. Are you ready? Is everybody ready in position? Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, and down. Okay. I don't know if they can hear me count. See. That was forty-five seconds. Legit seconds. <laughs> Legit. I'm a little fast sometimes. Uh, forty-five seconds. Why do we work core? Because it's the center of your body, number one. It moves all the time. You're working your core. It takes your core muscles to do almost every movement that you do during the day. Sit down, stand up, walk, climb, anything. You're using some abs, so you have to strengthen those abs. The second reason why we do abs so much is because it takes pressure off your lower back. And so many of us have had lower back issues, whether it be bulging disc, or ruptured disc, or sciatic nerve going down the back of your leg. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Trust me, I know. I've had two back surgeries, and the second surgery I had, I did some intense physical therapy and my therapist focused on core. I'm like, it's my back. He said, we're gonna focus on your core. It's gonna take pressure off your lower back. All right? Hold on. Okay. okay. So, we're gonna do one more. We got time for one more. How much time we got? We got two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. And then we'll let you go a little early, but we're gonna do one more 45 second plank. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? I'm gonna count this time, okay? Just to make sure they hear me, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. And up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Good job. <laughs> that might have been a minute. Could have been a little closer to a minute, but who's counting, right? All right, that's it for today. I'm Wade, my beautiful wife, Allie. We are owners of the Bod Garage. Um, it's a fitness, workout, nutrition, company okay we would love to have you watch us in the mornings we'll be back again tomorrow morning take care we love you see you